Julie Becker to leave me alone. It all began in the summer of 1957 before the start of second grade. For me, it was the beginning of what will be more than half a decade of strategic avoidance and social discomfort. Hi, I'm Julie Baker. Hey, what are you doing? Don't you want some help? No, there. Some variable thing is there. How about this one? No, no, no. Run home. Your mother probably wondering where you are. Oh, no. My mom's where I am. She said it's fine. Do you want to put this one together? Bryce, isn't it time for you to go to help your mother? Huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, nothing will stop her. I couldn't believe it. There I was holding hands with a strange girl. How did I get into this mess? Well, hello. I see you with my son. Uh-huh. Finally, I did the only male thing available when you are 7 years old. However, my troubles were far from over. The minute I walked into Michelson's classroom, It was clear. School would not be a sanctuary. Hey, Bryce, where's your girlfriend? I was branded for life. Hi, Bryce. Why don't you ask her to marry you? My first year in town was a disaster, and the next three weren't much better. But finally, in the sixth grade, I took action. I hatched a plan. Sherry! Sherry, wait up! Hi, Bryce! I asked out Sherry's stall. I was wondering if you wanted to go with me. To full appreciate the brilliance of this plan, you have to understand that Julie had Sherry's stall. That I never understood why. Sherry was nice and friendly. The idea was that we'd walk around together and hopefully Julie would lose interest. Things were unfolding quite nicely. That is, until my supposed best friend, Garrett Einbinder, the turned cop, told Sherry what I was up to. She didn't take it well. Ward got back to Julie, and pretty soon she started up with the goo goo eyes again. Thank you. Hey, Bryce. Only this time it was worse. She started sniffing me. That's right. Sniffing me. What was that all about? What's going on with you and Bryce Lowski? What do you mean? Nothing! Oh, okay. My mistake. Why would you even think that? No reason. 
just that you talk about him all the time. I don't know. I guess it's something about his eyes or maybe his smile. What? What? About him? What? You have to look at the whole landscape. I didn't really understand what he was saying until one afternoon when I was up in his camera tree. From that moment on, that became my spot. I could sit there for hours, just looking out at the world. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, but you can park there. That's a bus stop. Hey, hey. What are you doing up there? You can't be up there. Recall the text thing down. The tree? Yeah, take them down. But who told you you could cut it down? Yeah, that. By the third time I broke his office through the last kiss, I realized Brad was waiting for me, waiting to pull open the door and say, Thanks, Julie. See you at school. And in return, I got a few moments alone with the world's most dazzling eyes. Hi, Bryce. Thanks, Julie. See you at school. See you. No, maybe I'll do it later. I lost my eggs. Yeah, I dropped them. They're not broken. We're throwing them away. Don't you want them? It wasn't me. My dad didn't think it was worth risk. Risk? What's a risk? Salmonella. What? You suffer a green poison? Well, Julie, I mean, look at your backyard. It's a complete mess. It's like covered in turds. It's not true. I clean up after mothers every day. We just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I feel it's hurting them away. How could you? I'm sure. No, you're not. It's looking real good. I'm sorry for what I did. I just didn't get it, Bryce. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. It was dumb. And I shouldn't have said anything about your yard either. It wasn't right. Maybe it's all for the best. Well, good luck with the grass. I'm sure it will come up great. Thanks. I guess I'll see you around. I guess so. Was he really sorry? Or was he just saying these things to make himself feel better? Then I thought maybe I just want him to be more than the son of his parts. But as I look into his eyes, those dazzling eyes, for the first time, I was pretty sure that Bryce Lusky was less. We're going to invite the baker's offer for dinner. Patsy, what purpose? That is sure. Trina Baker is a very nice person. It's going to be a sit-down dinner, and I expect everyone to dress properly. So that was it. A dress-up sit-down dinner with Julie Baker was in my immediate future. 
I found myself staring at her in class. She looked just like the picture in the newspaper. Dana Tressel caught me watching. If I didn't do something fast, this could be spread like wildfire. There must a bee in her head. See? There it goes. There's no bee. It flew out the window. I can find myself a dodge a bullet. I had to put Julie out of my mind. Well, he's gonna be cross on you. What's that you're talking about? Brussels kid doesn't have cross on me. Come on. Where? I saw him sneaking off with that. Come on. Come on. Are you faking mental? Julie Baker, you hate her. That was weird. I don't think I do. I can stop thinking about her. You got it, Batman. Well, what do I do? Well, you got any beast in the bag, this Aaron Roof emission. They are not. You feel guilty because of the accident. Yeah, and I insult her, yeah. Exactly. Her dad's got a retired brother, and all their money goes to helping him. A retard? We'll shoot that off to tell something. What the fuck? About Julie. What are you saying? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Hmm. I talk to you later. I'm sorry, I thought. It's okay. It's fine. And it was, because now my confusion was gone. I was sure I no longer liked Breslowski. Hey! You look nice. I heard you in there making fun of my uncle in the library, and I don't want to speak to you. But now, whatever. Julie, can I talk to you? If it's wrong, what can I say? I know it. Did you know it was wrong when he said it? Yeah, I wanted to punch him, but we were in the library. So you see, you disagree with him and love it? Yeah. Then it makes you a coward. I had to sit across from Julie for an entire dinner. But through it all, Julie didn't say a word to me. Never even looked at me until she was about to leave. I'm sorry I was so angry when we first came in. I think everyone had a good time. Their mom was really nice being quiet. See you. Her apology made things worse. I knew I wasn't forgiven. It was like I wasn't even important enough to hold a grudge against it. Brinsloski is not my mind. I hear you are planning to give on Raj. Well, who told you that? No, I'm not. Someone saw you with one of us this morning. How much do you have? It's none of your business. And I'm not bleeding, okay? I don't even like you anymore. Oh, that's gonna be the day. It's true, go ahead! It's your money on him, I don't care!
I could say I didn't care all I wanted, but seeing Braswell cut in his jacket and tie, holding that picnic basket, set my head spinning again. And now, Eddie Ruth. And the others. Okay, so to Julie Becker for eight dollars. How did this happen? Was it because I felt bad for any, or was it because I couldn't trust myself with Bryce? It's strange. Here I was having lunch with the hottest girl in school, and I was miserable. Because less than 20 feet away from me was Julie, my Julie, with Eddie Trulock. She's laughing. What was she laughing about? How could she sit there and laugh and look so beautiful? Bryce, are you alright? What? What are you staring at? Nothing. Lunch is really delicious, Bryce. Bryce, did you hear me? It's really delicious lunch. Can you talk about dance or food? Well, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Perpetual motion? Do you know anything about that? Perpetual what? I tried to give Eddie my full attention, but it was difficult because Bryce was right behind him. Eddie was saying something about index files when, out of nowhere, we stood up and marched straight towards me. Julie, I gotta talk to you. What's going on, Bryce? Bryce, stop it! As I walked home with the dirty dishes clanging inside my picnic basket, all I could think of was Julie. And I realized Garrett was right about one thing. I had slept completely. Juliana? Juliana! I can't. I can't. Please, Miss Baker, I got to see her. I have breath. Breath. I'm afraid. Slow the person in the room. Is Julie there? Oh, I'm sorry, Bryce. Julie doesn't want to talk. I tried to go to bed early that night, but I couldn't sleep. I watched her house from my window for hours. I had to find a way to show her how I felt. Then one afternoon, I was coming into the front room to read. when I heard a noise in the yard. Hey, what's he 
doing? Julie, calm down. I gave you permission. Permission? Permission for what? He's seeing a hole. I taught him he could. But why? I taught him he could. It was torture seeing him dig up my grass. How could my father let him do this? Bryce knew I was there too. I didn't really need to ask. I could tell from the shape of the leaves and the texture of the trunk. It was a skimmer tree. When she walked out of the door, I thought back to the first time I saw her. How could anybody ever have wanted to run away from Julie Baker? He looked at me with those eyes, those once again dazzling eyes, and I knew that Bryce Lossie was still walking around with my first kiss. But he wouldn't be for long. As we stood there, I realized that all these years we never really talked. Do you need some help? Yeah. But the day we started. And I knew we'd be talking for a long time. 